This is a small Norfolk Island pine bowl. It's translucent. Uh, the rim is maybe an eighth of an inch and it goes down to about a sixteenth of an inch on the sides. Uh, and it will now get uh, put in my first mix uh, for however many days. I'll, I'll determine how long after I'll, I'll pull it out in a couple of days and look at it. And when I don't longer think it can be more translucent, it will come out, get dried, and then go into a secondary mix. The first mix is a very thin down uh, boiled linseed oil. And it only goes in that mix one time. And after it's in the kiln for a few days and it's no longer slick, the secondary mix is a thin down polyurethane. And that will be the finish until the piece is finished. And that could be up to a week to a week and a half of dipping once a day and then buffing everything that's shiny on the piece. And the piece will be finished when it is totally shiny and buffed. I have three basic mix buckets. Uh, this one is the one that has linseed oil and it is thinned with paint thinner uh, to maybe 30% paint thinner to boil linseed oil. So I have this one that's the, the linseed. I have this one for much larger bowls. And then my polyurethane mix is in this, is in this bucket. And it has a drip rack on it. And then this has a drip rack on it. This is strictly for dripping. There's no mix in it. Okay, I'm pulling the top off of this one mix. Now I'm going to dip this and then pull it back out just to show you how immediately the first change can be. Just So just a few seconds of this and look at the difference already. It, uh, it will not sink. I will set it in the mix and get it mixed up to the top and it will take uh, a day or two days or three days for it to sink. And so it stays like that. I'll check it in a... Oh, well, that happens sometimes. Let's see what we can do. Okay, this is going to give me grief, which means I'm going to have to let it sit just like this, since it won't go the other way. And I will then probably check this in, in about an hour until, it, until I can get it upright. Okay, this is 24 hours later after we uh, first put that small Norfolk pine piece in the oil. So we're going to take a look at it and see how it's doing. Okay, it has not sank. And so, but I can see it's starting to darken in color, which is very good. It's becoming a little more translucent. It's getting there, but it's still going to be, who knows, we'll check it every 24 hours. Okay, it's now been 48 hours since we put this Norfolk piece in the oil. Let's, uh, let's see what it looks like. Okay, it has still not sunk. So, but it is starting to look better. It is starting to look better. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for the dark to get darker. And I'm looking for this amber to become more translucent. It's still opaque, but it's slowly getting there. And it's... Uh, you can you can see by this photo it's it's getting more translucent by the day and this dark is is getting darker it's what i'm looking for but it's still a ways to go i'll set it back down and below the rim and see if it actually will sink now or if it's still going to float nope it's still going to float so we'll check it in another 24 hours uh and this bucket which well, we haven't shown yet is strictly a drip bucket for the Norfolk pine for when it first comes out and it can sit in here all day and then towards the end of the day I'll see if it needs any drying then it goes into the kiln and when I have to dig pieces out of the other two buckets I have a stick here so I can dig down and dig them when they when dig them out when they have sunk and I never uh, once in a blue moon I will clean this bucket out 
and it is it's not fun to clean but I will clean it out every now and then okay today is day six it sank two days ago but I did not look at it yesterday and so there it's upside down but it's on the bottom and so I get a stick here to fish it up a point where I can grab it and we'll see what it's looking like ah uh, now that's looking good still you know I I think I like that so it's too late in the day to pull it out now but I will pull this out for the first time tomorrow but that's six days just for the initial soak it's time to uh, take that little Norfolk piece out of the oil it's good and translucent now and so since it has sunk way in the bottom here That's, that's very nice. And I'm going to put it into the uh, drip tank next to me. And it'll pretty much stay there uh, until late this afternoon. In which then it'll go into the kiln. And it'll go directly over the light in the kiln. And it will stay there until it's no longer slick. However many days it, however many days it takes. And then it will get dipped in the polyurethane mix for days and days, one day at a time, until it's uh, finished. And so that's probably another week, a week and a half.